So I saw a movie uh, at the AFI Fest called The Fugue or something like that. F-U-G-U-E. Uh, about a lady who lost all memory of who she was. She, she uh, couldn't remember her name. Couldn't remember that she was married, had a child. So I put her on TV and uh, somebody identified her and they reunite her with her family, but her memories don't come back right away. Almost like uh, in the end we find out it might have been something kind of like post-traumatic stress. She had an incident where she was in a traffic accident, thought she might have killed her child, ran her off into the forest or something, and disappeared for a couple of years. Uh, so, for Christians, we pray the movies. We pray for those who have mental health issues. It used to be, even in the church, anybody with mental health problems would be looked down upon. Even like, oh, you can't be Christian if you have mental health problems. Uh, later on, that became kind of uh, sort of uh, become more. The church has become better about mental health issues. They're not so judgmental. Um, I grew up in a family where my dad worked as a chaplain at a Christian psychiatric hospital, so. I was raised to kind of be very knowledgeable and aware about these issues uh, from my dad's work, but then later also on my own because I, my first major was psychology and then I also worked at that same hospital for a year, uh, as a, kind of as a counselor type job. So. Uh, I think uh, this movie is mostly about praying for those with mental health issues, remembering them, caring for them, and uh, hoping that they can recover and come back to health and, and uh, to try to help people recover. <clears throat> There's a lot of mental health recovery and uh, therapy plans that are purely secular, but leave out God, leave out Jesus. And we got to, we want to, to uh, we want to integrate God into all, all therapy. That includes addiction, rehab, things like that. The reliance on God, because a lot of, uh, a lot of addiction issues, and, the, and even some mental health issues not related to addiction, sometimes are associated with control, trying to be in control. And when we don't have that control anymore, some people turn to other things to try to maintain an illusion of control, or even become abusive in some cases. Or in others, they totally let go and become victims of abuse. Because letting go of control without hanging on to God is going to be a problem. There's that old saying, let go, let God. Yes, when you let go, that means you don't let go of God. You hang on more tightly to God. And that's when the relationship with God will really start to take off. I think Robert Schuller used to say, when you're down to nothing, God's up to something. So let us pray for those with these issues, even for ourselves and in some cases. None of us are perfect. Uh, and hear, hear our prayer, Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.